Well, I'm sitting in my garden shed on a freezing cold Sunday afternoon. And what am I doing in my garden shed? Well, look, you know, every Englishman's shed is his castle, so I'm in my little castle, I suppose. But to talk about Easter theatre, I'm going to go back to 1986, and we're making Skylarking, and we're on the San Franciscan leg uh, of recording, and we're holed up in this desolate, uh, deserted X factory, which is owned by the tubes uh, to store their stage props and their amplifiers and stuff like that. And while Todd Rundgren is setting up a microphone on something, I, uh, I've had this, this melody rattling around my head for months and months, and I've not told anyone about it. And it's been really bugging me. And I took Colin aside. And uh, I said to Colin, I'm, I'm going to play this melody because it's, it's, it's really bugging me and I can't do anything with it. And I don't know what I expected to get out of playing it to Colin, like his look of kind of surprise or something or blankness would trigger off a song in my head. Or I, I don't know. Anyway, I sat him down uh, and on a slightly more professional guitar than the one I'm holding at the moment. This is my daughter's school guitar and I'd probably write more songs on this than, than any other instrument. It's made in Romania. It's the home of great rock and roll guitars, I guess. But uh, I sat Colin down and I said, you know, while Todd's setting up the mic, listen to this, because I just can't get it out of my head. And um, I strummed him this... Um ba, ba, da, 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 Sure enough, he said, eh, it's nice, yeah, it's nice, nice melody, and uh, nothing, no, I couldn't, nothing sprang to mind. So it got filed away in my head, and it rolled around my head for a few more months, and then I guess it went on a long journey into my subconscious or, or something, took a holiday, and I forgot all about it. So right now I'm going to fast forward you to 1994, and I'm stuck in self-same shed here. And I'm playing this, uh, playing this little guitar, the best that Kempster's Music Store in Swindon can, uh, actually the cheapest one they could sell me. Hate to confess, there's an ad for Kempster's. Go in there and tell Jeff I sent you and I want my discount, which he's never given me in 20 odd years of shopping in there. But uh, I'm sat playing this guitar and I stumble on these rather nice, earthy kind of chords. And they're made, uh, just the bottom three strings of a guitar. E, a D flat, and an E flat. And I'm thinking, ooh, that's so earthy, so uh, soil covered or something. You know, so, and I'm stomping away, like, <clears throat> like a little troglodyte with this. And, and then I'm, I do what I always do. I just start moving my fingers around kind of nervously. And, I, I suddenly hit upon moving up to an F, F, D flat, E flat. Oh, suddenly I've got this little ascending. I've got the earth and it's ascending. Hang on, so I've got. And I move it around a bit. And I'm thinking, ooh, this is this is exciting. This is uh We've got like this, 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 uh, these brown, earthy, lumpen kind of things here, and and it's ascending, it's pushing up. So, I've got something, something's pushing up through the earth, and you know, you get these little pictures in your head. So I'm sat there going, um, 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 and I'm getting really excited, as you can tell. I'm heavy breathing, <laughs> my troglodyte breathing here. <laughs> little melodies coming. Getting excited and getting all sorts of pictures of kind of flowers bursting up through the ground and stuff. And I'm kicking this around and I get up to the I get up to the highest one there, which is a B flat uh Sheesh, what's that? D flat uh, no uh, G flat. So a B flat to G flat. A flat, 
and I don't know where to go, you know. And I, and I, yeah. Oh hell, where do I go? And I stretch my finger up, and I, and I make the, the G flat, uh, uh, a G, and it's really tense, and I don't know what to do with it. Then all of a sudden, from 1986, the little ball bearing comes back off of holiday, rolls around to the front of my head, drops into a slot, and I end up with. Uh, uh, oh, I remember something. It goes. Ba, ba, da, 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 yes, I've got these lovely climbing earthen chords that go. Ba, da, ba, ba, da, ascending. Da, 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 still coming up. Ba, da, 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 still going up. Da, 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 and then that little ball there it makes the join. Oh, lovely. The main lyrical idea really came out of uh, uh, painting the, you know, the, the picture, the description of the music. The music was the, the earth and something pushing through the earth. And uh, flowers, I guess, is the only thing. What well, moles, I suppose. We've already done the mole angle. Uh, mole mole them from the ministry some time back as the dukes. Uh, so we're on the flower. I'm on, hey, I'm on a flower angle here. And I've, uh, I've got this, this new life idea. Hey, it's, it's not, a, it's not a, a new theme for me. I think Season Cycle was uh, the first time I tried the new life, uh, you know, a new life explanation. And I guess I'm fascinated with decay and um, decay and new life from decay. I've taken to wearing brown a lot lately and I, I read in a book recently it shows fascination with death and decay so maybe this hey then maybe there's something in this this brown like. Well, they say brown is the new brown so anyway um, I'm, I'm writing about flowers pushing up and I'm, and I'm getting lyrical ideas and so on and really trying to describe, I suppose, impressionistically what Easter means. And Easter always used to confuse the hell out of me as a kid because I couldn't figure out why it was such a miserable time of year and why there was this icon of a, of a tortured man with, with nails banged through his hands. You know, why? It, it seemed like such a joyous time, you know. It seemed like there was all this new life busting up through the ground and... and uh, everything's procreating and uh, reproducing itself and it's the end of decay and it's the start of the new cycle and i couldn't figure out how this 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 dying man this this symbol of this tortured person that didn't connect with me as a kid and um i'd recently been reading a book by barbara g walker called the women's encyclopedia of myths and secrets and my head was full of Easter being the, uh, you know, Easter being the Germanic goddess of new life and her symbols being um, eggs and uh, the hair, which is where the Easter bunny comes from. Uh, and I was, you know, head full, of, head full of Easter, I guess. And so all these lyrics were, were just spilling out of me impressionistically. You know, let's have a look. Oh, my kingdom for a plectrum. I'm rummaging around in my pockets here. Jack, you never find one. It's like, you know, it's like a bus. You wait for ages and then you find two plectrums, you know. I think they fly out of my pocket when I'm trying to open the front door. I think my front garden's full of hundreds of plectrums. But, um, so all the, uh, the lyrics were all on this Easter thing, you know, this impressionistic idea of what Easter meant to me. Um, Gold sun rolls around, chocolate ni- Actually, chocolate n should be chocolate nipple brand, but all the way through the session it was like chocolate nickel brand for some reason. You know, just singing this and winking at each other. Gold sun rolls around, chocolate nipple brown, tumble from your arms, like the ground your breasts swell, land awake from sleep. Hairs will kick and leap, flowers climb erect, smiling from the moist kiss of her rainbow mouth. And then we hit chorus land with um, 
And to me, it's like Easter. I, I was really fascinated by the idea of Easter being a woman and Easter being uh, the female bringer of, uh, of new life. So I thought, great, we'll have her, we'll put her in a costume covered in eggs and chocolate and, and we'll have hairs leaping around her and we'll bring her on the stage so we can all appreciate her, you know. So it was really the idea of the Easter theatre, I suppose from all the kind of gold wrapping on Easter eggs and the idea of display and... Ah, oh, it's it's a long story, but uh, so we have s stage left enter Easter and she's dressed in yellow yoke. Stage right now the son has died, the father can be born. I didn't know whether that was the right way around. I I agonised about that for ages. The son has died, the father can be born, and I guess it is the right way around. You know, it's kind of a wrong way. You know, child is the father of the man and all that sort of thing. Anyway, it's scanned much better. Now the father's died, the son can be born. It didn't, didn't seem to fit, so I thought, well, what the hell? It still makes sense. The son has died and the father can be born. And it's a little mischievous kind of Christian reference there. If no one's listening. But uh... Anyway, it was good fun putting this together. And it, it, it excited me, you know, got me... Uh, Got me revved up. Fancy a bit of chocolate, even talking about it. Don't know what it is. I fancy a chocolate or an egg or maybe sacrificing a rabbit or something. Just a quick word about the arrangement of the thing. Uh, finding these grumpy, earthy, sodden chords. There, <clears throat> I thought, I want, I want uh, something to, to hint at uh, a more pagan. Uh, thing uh, and um, for me the idea of pagan is probably associated more in my mind instrumentally with uh, certainly with drums and kind of small percussive things you know people hitting bones and sticks and stuff like that but musically musical instrument wise I think it's probably woodwinds with their grumpy growly dark brown kind of pulse that they can have you know <coughs> like bass clarinets, bassoons, all this kind of stuff. They're very earthy and they're very archaic sounding to me. So I thought it would be great to take these three note chords from the, uh, from the acoustic guitar, take, you know, not use the acoustic guitar, but have these grumpy Neanderthal woodwinds doing it. And uh, it seemed to work, you know, I mean, if I've got my, if I've got my uh, CD player queued up kind of right here, I can show you. Gold sun rolls around, chocolate nipple brown, tumble from your arms like the ground your breasts swell and awake from sleep. See, the, uh, the woodwind's got this nice. <laughs> it's very pagan. There's Easter's on the stage here, and we can all applaud her dressed in her gold paper and uh, all her Easter trappings. Uh, okay, let me, let me stop this a second. Oh, there they go. Hey, and it, I'll tell you how cold it is in here. The electric fire's just kicked on. It's saying, stop doing this now. Go, and, go in and get warm. So I think I will. Uh, hey, hope I've given you some indication of what the hell this song's all about. Oh, let's move closer to that fire. Ooh.